Your New York Knicks are back in the win column as they beat the Miami Heat 116 to 107. It was truly a tale of two different halves for the New York Knicks. I thought the Knicks came out slow. I thought they came out lethargic. It looked like they were having a lot of fun in the 305 on Tuesday night prior to game day because they came out and their energy was a joke. And in the second half, they came out and they played a brand of basketball that I like to call New York Knicks hoops. You're watching Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. And man, if you were sour on the trade, if you were iffy, if you were still wearing your Julius Randle Snuggie to bet every night, sell it and move on. Because there's a new sheriff in town, there's a new big man on the block, and Carl Anthony Towns is proud to wear New York across his chest. When nobody else wanted to hoop in the first half, Carl Anthony Towns did. When the Knicks needed a bucket, Carl Anthony Towns answered. When the Knicks needed any sort of life, Carl Anthony Towns showed up. 44 points, 12 rebounds, 17 of 24. Thoroughly outplayed Bam Adebayo. Bam couldn't guard him. Jimmy couldn't guard him. Jovic couldn't guard him. Thomas Bryant couldn't guard him. Four of five from three. My biggest point of emphasis to improve upon for the Knicks after the first three games of the season was they have to get Carl Anthony Towns moved on. He, uh, uh, more involved, excuse me. He was averaging 11 shots per game in those first three games. He doubled that up, and he came through with results. 44, 12, and 2 on 71% from the deck and 44 of 5 from 3. I need everyone watching today's show to show the man some love. Show the Jersey boy some love. Show the guy that grew up a diehard New York Knicks fan some love and type those 32s in the chat. If I don't see a thousand thirty twos on today's video, I'm gonna assume we had a bunch of Celtics, Heat, and Nets fans watching today's show. Jalen Brunson. It, this is the reason that I love Jalen Brunson. First half shot couldn't fall. He didn't look like himself. Maybe the ankle was bothering him. Maybe something was hindering his performance. He could not buy a bucket. But you know what he did in the second half? He got downhill. He chose his spots more wisely, and he did what a point guard does. He got his team involved. He got his teammates the ball and spots to be effective. Jalen Brunson has every right to say this is my team. Jalen Brunson has every right to say I'm the guy that takes the most shots. But you know what he did? He noticed that Carl Anthony Towns was hot. He noticed that Cat was cooking, and there was nobody on the heat that could guard him. So what did he do? Here you go, Cat. Here you go, Cat. Here you go, Cat. Not a selfish ounce of DNA in his bone. And he still gave you 22 and 9 on and off night. Captain, thank you. Thank you. Mikhail Bridges, he struggled as well early on. He made his first three, then he missed the next seven, and then he started to heat up. Six dimes from Bridges is something I love to see. We always wondered how he could take his game to that next level. He defended well. I wish they would do a, more, a better job of not allowing Tyler Hero to walk into wide open threes. But he made his shots. He was inefficient, but he made big ones. And he made plays on defense. And I love that steal he had on Jimmy Butler in the corner. We're going to talk more about this game around the corner. But first, I got to give a major shout out to today's sponsor and our proud sportsbook partner, DraftKings. The NBA is finally back. A new season means new ways to get into the action at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. Who's draining threes from beyond the arc? Who's crashing the boards and grabbing rebounds? Get behind your favorite players and the prop bets you can make on DraftKings, the home of NBA player props. First time, new DraftKings customers bet $5 to get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Every point counts with DraftKings Sportsbook. Sportsbook. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code NixChat. That's code NixChat for new customers to get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just 5 bucks. Only on DraftKings, the crown is yours. 
Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. In New York, call 8778-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY to 467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777. Visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21 plus age and eligibility varies by jurisdiction. Void in New Hampshire, Oregon, Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. For additional terms and responsible gambling resources, see dkng.co slash B-B-A-L-L. If you would have listened to me, you would have got $200 for free, and you also would have hit on this same game parlay. Nick's money line, check. Jalen Brunson, two plus threes. He made three. And Carl Anthony Towns, he had 13 boards. I tried to put money in your pocket tonight. Hopefully you're ready to rock and roll for Friday night, Nick's. Use the promo code NICKSCHAT and bet $5 and get $200 for free. This was plus 252. I'm trying to get y'all some bread. OG and an OB, not much of a performance from him on the offensive end. I don't love that all of his shots were three-pointers, but I thought he did a good job playing defense. I thought he did a good job of wrecking the game. That's definitely wrong. Wrecking the game off ball. This is a guy that even when he does not score, I still believe he has one of the stronger impacts of any player in the NBA. I call him a needle mover, a you feel OG Ananobi. I've so many times compared him to somewhat of an edge rusher, even though he didn't play well. He did a great job on Jimmy Butler on defense. He did a good job on other people. I'll go to war with OG any of any day of the week. And Josh Hart, man, what's crazy is I don't love to look at stats during the game because I want my eyes to be able to decipher what's going on. I want to trust my eyes. And every time I then look at Josh Hart's stat line at the end of the game, and I'm like, this dude had 14 rebounds and six assists. 14 rebounds and six assists. He just makes plays. He causes havoc. He checks boxes. And he's just a winner. At the end of the day, you you can have any gripe you want about Hart and the lack of offensive firepower he has. For this team to win, you got to have heart. And, man, I got nothing but respect for JH3. Miles McBride, his worst shooting game of the night, uh, of the season, excuse me. He was shooting above like 50, 50, 60% from the field and from three. Wasn't able to connect tonight. Still two of five from distance. I'll take 40% any night of the week. Um, I thought he did a good job as well on Terry Rozier. The only person that really gave the New York Knicks fits was Tyler Hero. And I felt like a lot of that was, I don't know if the word is coaching or if the word is scheming, because so many times Hero would just come off that screen and that person that was guarding Hero was then in drop coverage and you were allowing Hero to just step into a one dribble warm-up jumper. Um, I know Tibbs is a a drop defense merchant, but... um, just something that I noticed from my eye. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We put out free, informative, entertaining updates and passion-driven content every day. I promise you, no one on Nick's YouTube is going to bring it more than we will. We're live for every single game day. So subscribe, turn notifications on, and help us get to our goal of 55,150 subs by this week's game on Friday against the Detroit Pistons. There has been a lot of talk about the New York Knicks not shooting enough threes. Through their first three games of the season, they were averaging 33 pointers per night. Tonight, they got that up to 40, and they knocked them down at an elite clip. You shoot 43s and you make 45% of them, you're going to win more games than you're going to lose. And it wasn't just Knicks need to jack up more threes. Knicks need to take more threes. They created more quality looks. I thought they played a brand of basketball that were, were not selfish and were not going to be afraid to make that extra pass, really enjoyed the offense the way they played. In a game, I mean, you scored 116 points against an Eric Spolster-led defense with Butler and Adebayo, where Brunson shot below 40% and Mikael Bridges shot 40%, and OG Ananobi made three shots. You know why? Because Sir Purr, the big bodega, big cat, Carl Anthony Towns showed up and showed out, and he had his first moment as a New York Nick, what do you have, 44? 44 and 13 for Carl Anthony Towns. 
he let everyone know in the Eastern Conference that the Knicks are that team. Grade the Knicks' performance from tonight. A, B, C, D, or F. I give this game a B. I can't give it an A performance from the Knicks because I thought the first half was very lackluster. I felt as if the Knicks weren't ready to play out of the gate. They gave up 32 points to Miami in that first quarter. I felt like they let him walk into a lot of threes. They let Tyler Hero get hot. And he's a good shooter. He can score. But I felt like as well as he played and as many tough shots as he made, the Knicks were letting him walk into open looks. Um, I can't give it an A because not everybody had an A performance. But you did just enough to win the basketball game. Reminder, we are going to be live on Friday night. Knicks, Pistons. So subscribe, turn the notifications on, and join us for the number one place on YouTube to watch New York Knicks games with thousands of Knicks fans every night.